handled the subtle nuances of it. It's an art form. And my understanding of this system exponentially grows by the day until I feel like the top of my head's about to blow off. We have caught Google red-handed spying on the American people and the people of the world. They are the NSA. They are the CIA on record. We told you that six years ago with high-level CIA officers coming on the show who are retired and exposing it. Like Mr. Steele. Now it's mainstream news. They just throw it in your face. They think you're just going to accept it. The head of Facebook calls you a bunch of effing suckers and idiots because you trust him. He publicly laughs at you and calls you dumb animals. I'm so sick of these arrogant filth. The only way they get away with this is our apathy and the fact that we're all jacked into the television sets and only care about issues of no significance because since we were small children, the control corporate media purposefully ruined many people's psyches and their roadmaps for understanding human civilization and history. I listen to grown men, how they're into being mindless idiots and how they're into just making endless jokes and, 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 and laughing about everything. And it, it's like arrested development at about a fifth grade level out there. I listen to other talk radio hosts and they're just gibbering monkeys. They have no idea how dangerous history is. They have no idea that in the siege of Leningrad, close to half a million people died just regular citizens of the city. And that more than 300,000 German soldiers died and more than 300,000 Russian soldiers. In fact, I'm going from memory. Will you pull up estimates of death from the Battle of Leningrad? What was it 1943, 44? Enemy at the gates doesn't even scratch the surface. The cannibalism, that city living on human meat for a year. There wasn't a rat left in the city that humans hadn't tracked down. They were eating the wallpaper off the walls because they'd used flour as the adhesive to put the wallpaper up. They were eating wood. They were roasting children on spits. This movie, The Road, people kept telling me to watch it, and I don't like disturbing movies because reality is disturbing enough for me. Knowing about the cannibalism in Africa and the South Pacific still going on. Studying as much history as I have. Knowing that within 10 days, and these are even government studies, Pentagon studies conducted in the 50s. Within 10 days, 90 plus percent of individuals will rape, murder, kill for food. Within 15 days, almost everyone becomes a cannibal. I've got the university studies that during... The Depression, that during the Depression, 7 million people starved to death, millions more during the Dust Bowl. And that's when 90% of the public were self-sufficient and could take care of themselves. 7 million, bye-bye. If you looked at the photos of the Great Depression, families with their cars broke down trying to go out west. Their, their children's ribs sticking out of their bodies. Their little rib cages looking like concentration camp victims. That was all engineered by the very same banking families that perch on top of this country right now, getting ready to do the same thing. I watched this movie about a week and a half ago, and I've been having nightmares about it every single day. And I'm going to tell you something. I had a nightmare last night about this. And you know why I had a nightmare? Folks, nothing gives me nightmares. Horror movies, unrealistic crud. This, this film brings up ancestral memories in me. Those are instincts. We all have them. Of all of my ancestors that starved to death and fought and women dying in childbirth and everything else our species has gone through, crawling up and fighting the saber-toothed tigers and the cave bears and the lions and the tigers and other tribes of humans coming in and conking our ancestors on the head and dragging the men off to eat them and taking our women and children and raping the hell out of them. 
That's what evil people do. That's the norm, is people taking your child and running a metal rod through them and turning them on a spit to eat them. Every culture has engaged in cannibalism, even when there's plenty of food. It's an act of dominance by psychopathic control freak groups that tend to take control of societies. But those societies can never become industrialized because only a loving, good culture can build a true system. But then the parasites always come in and take over civilizations and then they implode. And that's what's happened to us. And you watch. This society's done. It's going down. We are a diseased, filthy, demonic country and world full of soft people who have been soft for generation after generation, myself included. And we're going down. It, it's a total realization. And let me tell you something. If we don't stand up and get ready and speak out... It's going to get bad, but if we don't speak out and take action, it's going to get, in many cases, as bad as it is in this film. You know what happened in Rwanda, in that UN-funded slaughter there? You can search the term UN soldiers roast child on spit. You can look at that. That's official. You can look at children they beat to death everywhere the UN goes. Who do you think? They have an army of child rapist pedophiles. That's who they are. They go and join to do that, whether it's Serbia or African countries. Watch a movie like The Road. They, they pulled up some World War II number. It said 450,000. I've watched a lot of documentaries and read books on it. The estimates are probably a lot higher than that. The point is cannibalism. Hell, they, that's one of the main meat products sold in North Korea. That's even been in Vanity Fair. That they've had reporters there to watch the stalls selling human flesh. So, Cyrus Jones live forever. Grave digger. Grave digger. When you dig my grave. When you dig my grave. Make it shallow. Could you make it shallow? So I can feel the rain. Grave digger. We are back live. We have some incredible news. I just learned this during the break. The Obama deception, as many of you know, was hacked. The main version was 6.5 million plus views. It was the number one search term Friday and Saturday. The passcode for the director channel, we don't have a director channel, uh, but uh, Kenneth Webb does. It's changed the channel as the handle. It was hacked. And someone went in and erased the Obama deception, and it said remove by user. And when that happens, you cannot put the video back up. If you remove a video, it's gone. And to my knowledge, because we did research on this, Google, the parent company of Yahoo, uh, of, of YouTube, excuse me, has never, never re-enabled a video that was hacked and removed, because they've had this happen in the past to some large videos. It was it it was it was put back up minutes ago. So uh, I think Google, the parent company of YouTube, felt the power of our counter info war. Where over the weekend and yesterday, I said, search the term Obama deception censored, and that became the number one search, the number two search, follow the Republic, the number three search, infowars.com. We got a screenshot last night. Obama deception and censor was number one, fall of the public number two, InfoWars number six. But by the time I went to bed, InfoWars was number three. So we have the top three searches. And we also have the screenshots here. Uh, Jaron, uh, if he gets a chance, uh, can uh, pull up those images for you uh, of messages people got from Google when people did the search for the Obama deception saying, you're not allowed to look at this. Uh, they were blocking that search. It looks like they've removed that block as well. Because they're not stupid. Uh, I was intending today to go on a full frontal assault and give you new search terms. Because we can give out new search terms on air that we can make number one because of our millions of listeners taking action. That they'll have to continue to block out of their list. Because when they blocked out the Obama deception, the Obama deception censored Infowars.com, when they blocked that out, They blocked it out of the complete list. It was nowhere in the top thousand list. They just completely removed it. And I've got Steve Watson doing a story about that right now. In fact, it just went live. The headline is Google spies, censors, users. And Google has been caught spying. 
Google has been caught working with the NSA. Google, of course, six months ago, and we have a link to their email they sent us, said you're not allowed to